Hello everyone and welcome back to Unbound Learners Pre-K. My name is Nina. What's your name? It's nice to meet you. Let's get started with our good morning song. We're going to stretch our arms out like airplane wings and fly to one side, over to the other side, fly back to the middle, big stretch out in front and take the circle up over your head. Let's stretch on this side over to the other side. Last stretch. Now let's sing together. Good morning, dear earth. Good morning, dear sun. Good morning, dear rocks and flowers, everyone. Good morning, dear beast and birds in the trees. Good morning to you and good morning to me. Good morning, friends. Happy Friday. I hope that you're having a great day so far. Before we get started on the calendar and weather chart, we have three things to do quickly. Number one, turn on our listening ears. Next, we have to put on our thinking hats. And the last thing that we need to do is warm up our hearts. Can you show me how to do that? That's right. Boom, 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 boom. So let's double check. We have our listening ears on, our thinking hats on, and our hearts are all warmed up. Let me grab my pointing stick and let's go over the date together. Up at the top of the chart, we have the month. Do you remember what month it is? November, you're right. Today is November 12th. So let's move the chip over from yesterday. Yesterday was November 11th, and today is November 12th, and the year is 2021, but you can also say 2021. I wonder how many days we've had so far in the month of November. You can take out your counting finger and give them a little stretch, and I have my counting stick, and let's count together. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We've had twelve days so far in the month of November. For the next song, we need to hold up seven fingers for each one of the days of the week. And if you know the words, sing along with me. There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Let's go down to the bottom of the chart and go over the days of the week together. Here's the first sound. Yesterday was th Thursday. So that means that today is F Friday, the last day of the weekday. And tomorrow will be S Saturday, the first day of the weekend. Let's go back and sing Today is Friday together before we go over the season. Today is Friday, today is Friday, today is Friday, all day long. Today is Friday, today is Friday, today is Friday, all day long. Up at the top of the chart, we have the season. What's the season, friends? Fall or autumn? Fall and autumn are the same season. And back down at the bottom of the chart, I have a picture of the weather. So let's sing the weather song together and then we can share what we see outside of the window. What's the weather? What's the weather? Can you tell? Can you tell? Is the sun shining? Is the rain falling? Can you tell? Can you tell? Today at my house, the rain is falling. Yesterday, it was just cloudy. And even though the clouds are still there, now the rain has come, but my temperature chart is still on orange because it's warm outside. 
a warm and rainy day. And what do you see outside of your window today? Thanks for sharing the weather with me. Let's move on to the letter, the number, and the sign of the week. Because today is Friday, it will be the last day talking about this letter. Can you tell me the sound that this letter makes? That's right, this letter says V. What letter is this? V. This is an uppercase or capital V. V says V. I wonder what we'll find inside of the letter box today. Inside of this box, I have a picture of something that starts with the letter V. Here's your first clue. This is a ball that's used in a sport. And in this sport, you have to hit the ball over the net using your hands. Hmm, do you know what that's called? Let's see. This is a volleyball. So volleyball is a sport where there's a net and you hit the volleyball over the net using your hands. Volleyball starts with the letter V. v. This is how you write an uppercase v. v. One more time. Here's the number of the week. Do you remember what double digit number this is? 24. When you write 24, you write two numbers. First you write the number 2, and then you write the number 4. 2, 4, 24. Let's count the number 24 together using the large bead frame. This is how you count the number 24 using the large bead frame. 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Two tens, four units, 24. I wonder what we'll find today inside of the number box to count. It's Friday, so I have a lot of acorn tops. And as I count them, I'm going to be making two rows of 12. Are you ready to count with me? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. It almost didn't fit. We're halfway there, so let's start the second row with 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and one more makes 24. 24 acorn tops. Today will also be the last day saying poem in sign language. Will you show me how to do that? Let's do that together. Poem. Today we're going to wrap up our unit on short stories and poetry with one last short story called Is There Anyone Like Me? by Fred Strydrome, Jess Jardim Wedipol, and Stephen Wallace. By now, you have lots of practice making pictures in your head. So let's do that one more time while you listen to today's story. I wonder if there's another me somewhere in the world who looks the same and talks the same and even has my curls. Someone with my eyes, my ears, who even has my laugh, who can do what I can do and can't do what I can't. I looked and looked everywhere to find another me. I went down to the park and looked behind the trees. I looked around, up, and down at every single face. I couldn't find another me in any single place. 
There's only one me in the whole world. I'm special. Oh, it's true. But not just me. Don't you see? There's only one of you. So just like that short story says, there's only one you in this whole world, which is so special. Let's move on to the work for the day. For today's work, we are going to be making a self-portrait using organic material from outside and some Play-Doh. You can also use a mirror to look at yourself while you're making your self-portrait, if that helps. So I have some Play-Doh right here, and the first thing that I'm going to do is to make the shape of my face. Now, people don't have the same size or shape face. Me personally, I have a pretty round face. Some people have more oval shaped faces, but mine is pretty round. So I'm going to mold my Play-Doh into the shape of a round circle. There we go. So right here we have my face. Now I have two ears, one on either side of my face. I think I'll start off with the ears first. I also have two eyes. So I'll use these acorn tops for my eyes. And I have curly hair. So I'm going to take this grass right here and kind of crumble it up so that it's a little more curly, just like my hair, and stick it around my face. My hair comes to about my shoulders, so it goes past my ears, maybe a little bit more up on top and for my mouth I can use this other piece of grass right down here. I'm going to try to make it a smile and I also need a nose so maybe I'll use that rock right here. And There we go. We have a self-portrait that I made using organic materials that I found outside. Let's get back to circle time. Welcome back to circle time, friends. I hope that you've enjoyed this unit on short stories and poetry and making pictures inside of your head. Thanks for learning with me today. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel, give my video a big thumbs up, and find me on OutSchool for my live and interactive classes. You can also support my channel by checking out my Patreon page and gain access to bonus features for your child. I'm also offering one-on-one -on -one tutoring sessions as well as curriculum consultations, so feel free to reach out for more information. It's time to wave goodbye and sing together. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. I'll see you next time. Join me on Monday as we begin a new unit on character strengths. Have a great weekend, and I'll see you back on Monday.